Ready or not, here I come. You can't hide. Gonna find. Movies like this are exactly why I was against the Fox Disney merger. Um, because I don't think we'll see movies like this anymore. This particular company, this particular branch of Fox, Fox Searchlight, does usually the lower budgeted movies. Um, usually a lot of them try to win awards and stuff like that, but yeah, now that Disney owns them, a year from now, we're not going to get stuff like this in theaters, especially since it's an R-rated movie. What am I talking about? Well, let's talk about Ready or Not. You yeah. want me. Now that I escape, sleep, walk away. Yeah. Those who yeah. call late know the world they care. Ready or Not is a story of a bride-to-be by the name of Grace who's marrying into a rich family. She, the Her husband, soon-to-be husband, Alex, uh, is a member of a family who made a lot of money, who became rich by creating board games and selling them. Uh, unfortunately, once they get married, Grace is told by the family that they have they usually like to play a game to introduce a new member into the family. Once she plays the game, she finds out that all is not fun in these games. And she picks the card of hide and seek, and it turns deadly. This is a very interesting black comedy thriller and has horror elements in it, and I really enjoyed it. <clears throat> the story is very simple. I think the characters have a lot of fun in this movie. The story moves really quickly. Uh, Grace played by Samara Weavings, who also, well, I was kind of interested, not only because I liked the trailers to this movie, I was also very interested in hearing the fact that she would be playing Keanu Reeves' daughter in Bill and Ted, Three Fa Bill and Ted Face the Music. So I kind of was like very looking at her performance and she did really well. As Grace, she took the fact that she thought all oh, this was really silly, uh, you know, she just wanted to be with her husband. And once the insanity turns up, she has to turn up what's going on with her going anywhere from, oh my God, what the hell's going on around me? How am I gonna escape this? What am I going to do with my husband? And she really shined in it. And I will say this, this is just from a visual perspective. Her eyes are the bluest blues I've ever seen. Every time you look at her face, she just has like these, they're, they're so the sky blue cartoony eyes almost. I almost think that like somebody superimposed more blue onto them. But yeah, she held up a quid a very, uh, very well in this movie, especially since she's asked to go through certain things. Um, she also has this like kind of dorky quality to her, where where she starts to laugh, like kind of hardly. She'll snort, and I thought that was actually kind of cute, especially for a character like this, who is and obviously, and I believe she is a model in real life, a gorgeous woman. I also want to give a shout out to one of the other characters in the movie, Adam Broly as uh, Daniel. He is hilarious in every scene that he is in. And he's not even trying. You can tell he's just acting in the moment. He's, he's a very sarcastic person. He's looked on as the loser of the family or the screw up as he says himself uh, several times. He even marries a screw up. Who even she she's hilarious in this movie as well his wife, um, but like every but you there was also like a softness to him, where you can tell he was disappointed in either what was going on himself, or something else that was going on. I'm trying to keep it spoiler free, but yeah, like every time someone or any time he had to speak, he it was almost in a sarcastic way. In case you haven't noticed in this in this uh, review, I've been saying funny, comical, and this movie is comical. The difference though between the comedy in this movie and something else is they're not going for laughs. What's happening is these people are having these issues and it's funny to the audience because we watch, we are watching these people have mental breakdowns, admitting that they're useless, or just coming back at someone else explaining how 
batshit crazy this idea of hunting someone is. But they're never funny to each other. Like, if you were living in this world, you could see this happening, and you, can be, you would be pissed off at someone else. Us as an audience are laughing at it because it comes off funny to a third person. So I kind of really like that about the comedy in this movie. Um, there's one character, the aunt, who just like, even from the trailer, she's the older woman. I thought she was going to end up being like the grandma or something like that, but she's the aunt. And she has like, she always has this like mean demeanor on them. I kind of wish this movie it didn't have an R uh, Red Band trailer. Because it was like, okay, that's a trailer moment coming up. There was a couple of them I really wish I would have been more... I wish I had it seen, but it's one of those things where you have to juggle getting people into the theaters. And I think this one didn't bother me as much as something like Good Boys. If I was going to say anything negative about this movie, I was completely confused on why anything was happening. Alex, the husband, to Grace, it tries to explain to her what's going on and why. And you were like, okay, I kind of got it. But then, when a couple of seconds, or like two minutes later, he starts talking about something, and I was like, wait, I... D d that kind of contradicted what you just said a moment ago. Also, I didn't understand the, the relatives who were there. Supposedly this is something that's been going ongoing in the family and I was completely the more they tried to explain it the more I didn't understand how this, It worked So I was but like there's so much going on That you hardly notice it either. There's the all the interactions between Grace and her husband Alex the stuff with Daniel and Grace uh, the father and Daniel uh, the stuff with Daniel's wife, it's really good. This movie is really gory, though. I will say that. If you've seen the Red Band trailer, that's just kind of a tip of the iceberg, especially the ending. The ending is really gory. It's not gross. It's just gory. That's it. Um, yeah, and as you progress through the movie and you find out why they're hunting her, you're like, oh, okay. And then it does meet with a satisfying conclusion. It's just the logistics of how it started and the reasoning for it, if that makes any sense. Like, it makes sense why they're hunting her, but it, ne it never, to me, made any sense how this tradition started and why is it kept going. But when you get to the end, you will see why. So I really enjoyed this movie. I like the lead. I thought it was a good mix of comedy, had some thrills in it, had some horror elements in it. Um, it was a really strong movie, it's a really short movie. This goes by like nothing, it's like less than an hour and a half. So um, if I had to give Ready or Not a score, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it an 8.9. 8 it was really, it, if it wasn't for the people who, and maybe my opinion would change about the story a little bit later on when I get to see it when I'm not sitting next to someone who won't shut the fuck up during the movie. But yeah, I enjoyed this movie. I suggest if you're a horror fan, go out and watch it. If you like a good thriller, go out and watch it. Hell, even if you wanted some unexpected laughs, go out of your way to watch Ready or Not. Today was the first screenings. I believe it goes wide tomorrow. So if you do see it, let me know. If you have no plans on seeing it, let me know why not. Uh, so like, subscribe, and until next time. No stress if you don't smoke sense less. I must confess, my destiny's manifest in some vortex and sweats. I make tracks like